Hey, good morning, everybody. This is the professor with Day Trading for Success. Please read our disclaimer before you watch any more content. We are not licensed financial advisors. So today we've got a special day. Uh, I'm not going to be going into a lot about all the things that the platform has to offer or all the great things about the different strategies, the RV strategy, the escalator strategy, and the open strategy. Instead, we have an actual competition, which most of you don't know. We have the Million Dollar Margin Club has been... Um, uh, basically sponsoring a uh, trading camp for, for high schoolers. And they put together teams to compete so they could help them learn. They opened up accounts so that they could trade on a SIM, as well as now they have now actual cash accounts that have been funded. They don't get to keep this money, but been funded so they can live trade. And they're in the names of the mentors. It's all legal and above board. But today we are now having a competition after the three months of the trading uh, camp. So these guys, uh, the mentors, have put out um, – a lot of work and really these students are amazing and I often think to myself being a former math teacher you know you can always tell the the students that that the ones that really want to learn are the ones that are going to go far very very far um, with whatever they choose to do in life and these are all uh, kids adults really that all really were into learning and wanted to have day trading as to be their career and have the freedom of choice by being able to trade just a few hours a day and then go on and do other things they might have passion for in life. And that's kind of what the mentors have been teaching them. Now, can you imagine if there was actually this type of thing, a curriculum in schools, which is something we're advocating for, um, controlled, and they're starting when they're 8, they're 9, they're 10. Can you imagine how good they would be when they, they're of age to trade? So it's kind of a dream of ours to push that forward and create these super traders um, that can that are just can move with the times, and they've already got the skills to get in and out and trade very quickly, scalping, day trading, every type of trading they're being taught, which is great. But today, the big piece de resistance, so to speak, was um, – being able to trade here live with me, with the professor, the way the Million Dollar Margin Club does. I'm going to call the ball, and um, that's what today is going to be about. So I want to make sure I get these teams right because they blew me away. So there are four teams. There's five people in each team. So the team names are the Small Floaters, which is great. The Flushers is the second team. The Long Candlesticks. Hmm, who pushed that name forward? And the Bull Flags, which seems like a more traditional name but i will not i think that i i asked them right away the small floaters um what if you're on a talk show or something <laughs> i don't know or you know or how about the long candlesticks what does that mean exactly but anyway uh it's great they're here we had a great time this morning uh talking about all that stuff and then picking the stock so they got a choice of which strategy that the million dollar margin club is teaching do they want to trade today would it be the rv strategy would it be the escalator strategy and thank goodness, thank God they didn't pick the escalator strategy because we might have to wait around for that one. And then they just they wanted to trade at the open. So that's what we're going to do. We're trading at the open. Now, how does this work? So we are trading 500 shares. Their accounts are funded with real money. Everybody's trading with Thinkorswim. Everybody's trading with the exact same layout. It's completely even. Everybody's uh, layout has been tweaked and timed and practiced on to make sure there's no weird bugs. So it's all looking real good. And theoretically, the mentors are responsible for these trades, so no funny business above, uh, legally above. Now, the, the uh, students here cannot lose money for real. If they do lose $5,000 for real trading, because it is live money, then that, that their trading day is over. So that was set pretty high. Nobody expects to get anywhere near that, but it was just, it would be, you'd be incapable of the account size to handle trading this, um, the price of the stock if you go higher than that. So, but we ex what we expect to happen, of course, is for everybody to be green. They've been very green and uh, with very few red days. They're very, very good traders already. I think I'd stack them up to just about any professional trader, and I really mean that, guys. Uh, from from working with them and the, the the depth of knowledge that they knew about scalping, and where to get in and where to get out and what to look for, and it was just like blowing me away. So, um, so yeah, they're. Gonna, they can start at the open for what we call the rip and dip or dip and rip. I will not do that. I'm advising against it, but I don't think a single one of them is going to listen to me because it's a competition and they're going to roll the dice and hope that they call it right. Now, I will tell them what I think is going to happen at the open, and I'm pretty accurate, but they know I'm not 
I don't really know. So, you know, they could lose a thousand or fifteen hundred bucks in a split second by doing that dip and rip. So we talked about uh, some of them are trading with hockeys, which is great. Um, and some of them are not, but you know, the, the future of course is hotkeys. A lot of platforms don't, um, let you do part like think or swim. You can't do partial orders, um, with hotkeys. So if you learn with hotkeys on say light speed, which I think a lot of them have, you're going to be at a little bit of a disadvantage here, but this is, uh, I'll be using the button so you can see, we will not be adding share size once we're in. We will not be averaging up or averaging down. It's just going to be 500 straight shares. We tried to keep the competition as easy as, as we could. Now, how do we split up the winnings, assuming there are winnings? So uh, amongst the four teams, the uh, who, whatever team wins, whatever team has the highest gross profit at the end of the competition – which is uh, going to be either 30 or 35 minutes. They're still deciding and based on the rip or dip here. I will be told when to call it. They have their own little clocks and stuff. I don't have to watch the clocks. I have a helper here as well with me today. That was, uh, she came in to help with this particular competition, and we're all very, very excited about it. Um, so the whoever the winning team gets half of all the profits from everybody, including my profits, whatever I have, I throw into the kitty. And then the half that's remaining gets split up amongst the other three teams. So everybody will be a winner, assuming we have enough green teams and not not that many red teams. So um, that's the idea. I fully expect that there will be some level of green on all four teams. No pressure. <laughs> so um, just by what I've seen from the videos that they've showed me the recordings of them trading already. They're all recording individually, which is great. And that's a good process to have besides logbooking, guys. I will give this one lesson. They all have logbooks, okay? Young students have logbooks, not just online, so they can actually write down and, and, and um, log their thought process for their trade before, after, and sometimes during just to slow them down. We do sell that. I recommend you get ours or somebody's. Ours, of course, has that great stock rating. Um, I couldn't help it. <laughs> I can't. I'm a marketer at heart. I can't help it. Anyway, I, I want you guys to get a, a logbook of some kind. So they all log, and then they all keep – they've been keeping track. They have um, trading view, and they've been keeping track of the metrics. I was looking at some of their numbers. It's like freaking me out. The accuracy, these guys, over 80%. Um, really good traders already. So our mentors did a fantastic job, and we all gave them a hand. And we're expecting that this is going to be great, and that these uh, somebody you know some of these kids are going to have a good send off after after camp. And they've all uh, part of the deal with camp is that you agree to give at least one, uh, at least three months of your time uh, toward a mentor for somebody else. So that's, that's one of the things that we, we, in order to get into the program that you have to do. So I think this is a great program. I think it's going to go far. We have a minute and 15 seconds till we start trading guys. Everybody here is going to start with a dip and rip. And what that means is they're going to take a position immediately at the open. I will not do that. So right now you can see we are pre-market. We're about to become open session, whatever your time frame is, watching open session. This is being recorded on July 20th, uh, right when the market opens, East, East Coast time, 930 in the morning. I'm not sure if that makes a difference to people watching, but that's what's happening right now. So this is real funds that is being uh, risked here. So 40 seconds. Um, so let's see what happens. This is exciting, right? And then we'll go into some of the one. Once we get into position, I'll go on some of the stuff that we've talked about uh, today and what they shared. So we uh, marked out. Oh, so typically how the strategy works real quick is you wait for the stock to break the pre-market low or the pre-market high before you go in, which are marked out, as well as all of our pivot lines where the stock has moved around multiple times in the last 10 days, guys. That's what this strategy is. Lots of videos on how to trade this way. So, guys, I think it's going to go down. I said I'd wait to the last second. I believe you're, it's going. I would go short if you're going to do the dip and rip, but you call your own trade. Uh, my belief is going to go down looking at this pattern. So, see what you get here. Going up. Okay, called that wrong. Oh, no, I didn't. There we go. There it goes. So, obviously, the market's open. They, You guys couldn't hear it through my thing, but they have a bell, like, like, like the market opening bell goes off there. I think it's a really good idea. They set up a whole thing that has a spinning numbers and th for the camp so there's been a lot of thought brought into this um really cool it's a really cool thing 
Um, wow, man, this thing. <laughs> did you all jump on that? Yeah, it looks like every did every did every team member do they, are they all on that? Oh no, they're not all. They didn't all get in. Okay. Oh, okay. So there was a strategy, I guess, that some held one of their team members back, um, or they went the opposite direction. Is that what it was? Okay. And then they got out. Okay. Now there's some logic there. Yeah. So they've been a lot of strategy put into uh, how to win this. If you're all going to be good traders anyway. Now, those that are falling behind right here, they're going to have to make it up scalping or hope that. Um, so we're on the second minute now. So you're, I'm sure you're wondering when I'm going to go. And I'm waiting for a pullback. I'm thinking this is going to pull back, guys. So I'm going to try to add to the kitty by uh, pulling back. For those of you that are listening to me call the ball. I would say, uh, based on the strength of this, I'm a little worried about the pullback. Um, but I think it will pull back at least up to here to the one above the 114.13 pivot, possibly up to the Fibonacci and maybe up to the pre-market low. Now it has to break through these as all resist. So it just tapped on that one as resistances. So there's our first one minute green forming. Um, this won't close for four minutes still. This is a nice big red over here. Level two isn't going to help me much right now, nor is the seller's indicator. Still a crapshoot right now, guys. Still a crapshoot. You won the craps, most of you. Um, so, okay, is it going to break through? It did. Okay, so I'm going to look to get in soon here, guys. I'm going to look to get in maybe at the Fibonacci, which is 14 in the 14, 114, 30, 30 cent range, 30 to maybe if it goes up to 40. I'd probably get in anywhere after the 30 cent range. So that's at the Fibonacci. So it might not get up there, and I'm just going to have to get it. Yeah, this that could have been it. It could be just going right back down. No, it's getting to be a longer body green. So I am looking at the level two for price only right now. I'm looking at price movement only um, um, with the volume two. I'm looking at the volume two. So I'm still looking to get into the Fibonacci level 14, 114, 30. Oh, did I get it? I got a 34. Only because there was a delay. I would have had it at only 29. So I shorted at... 114.34, and I'm getting ready to cover if it continues to go up. So no, okay. So those of you that didn't sell out and hung on to your short from up here, you're still doing great. Um, some of you, I, I believe, caught, caught that little scalp and are back short again. So that's good because you're trying to catch up. So that's good. Here we go, guys. So um, I'm going to look for this to go down a, a bit more. We'll just have to look at the action here. And we're going to try to carve out some scalping in the next 30 minutes here. So it's obviously a downward trend. You can see uh, our custom script here, the ADX. Uh, now that'll ring if it switches. Here's our sellers indicator that shows the volume in the last candle and the current volume is going up. Sellers are going up with that volume. But the volume's way down from the open, obviously. So sellers going up with the volume is a good sign. And um, there's not going to be any partial fills because we're only doing uh, buy market and sell market. So that was discussed and agreed to. Um, get in your position. No trouble on this large cap with this share size getting filled entirely. we go everybody doing so you look at the 50 cents as a possible uh, price point to where is the 50 cents right here so maybe there could turn around at 13 1 13 everybody knows the half dollars the whole dollars possible areas big bunches up look at all these numbers well they just flew by where did they go wow that was fast um so remember you multiply these by 100 and half of it are, are not even seen so uh you can you can uh well never mind i'm not going to get into it half of it's not even seen so here we go did it is going to break the 50 cents it looks like it might turn around here guys so i'm getting ready to reverse here
You've got to break through that floor. Okay, it's doing it a little bit. Whoa, okay, so it's through. Oh, man, it's way through. Holy mackerel. So now look at the even dollar, 313 even as a potential area. Uh, that's way down here. We've got open. You know, if it's if it's up there, you call it blue sky. Down here, we call it the abyss. It's just like sinking into the abyss here. So uh, no no uh, candlesticks moved around in that area in the last 10 days. Did they turn around? So, guys, I am still looking for this to retrace. Oh, just missed it. That could have been the spot. Wow, really? Okay. Went all the way down to 313.12, and a bunch of people said that's the spot. So they went ahead and did it. So we missed that, unless some of you caught. Some of you did catch that. Good job. Wow. I did not see that coming. That was good. That's good trading. Don't don't screw up. It's going to come back down. <laughs> it's going to come back down, guys. Uh, it's starting to hammer down here. You can see it. Be careful. I don't know why they don't need me. Most of these guys do not absolutely do not need me to trade. Uh, but you know, you have somebody else giving an opinion, whether you agree with it or not. Sometimes it gives some clarity to your move. Sometimes it makes you hesitate in case in case you went the opposite of what I'm saying. So maybe think of another perspective. Um, and then there's, you know, the idea of a quarterback is the calmness of the position, like not, you know, we got to get out. There's only one lifeboat. <laughs> Run, push everybody out of your way and jump in the lifeboat right now. <laughs> uh, like, why didn't she pull Leonardo DiCaprio up on the on the piece of wood? Why did she shove him under the water? I don't get it. <laughs> uh, anyway. <laughs> So surely two people could have sat up there and not frozen to death. Just they could have done it. Um, okay, guys, I'm definitely going to get ready to turn around here and preempt a possible move. I'm just going to take it there. Oops, what am I doing? God, I'm too, I, I, I meant to hit reverse here. Okay, I can't do more share size. They're all set so that we can't go. It's actually set so you, I could go 600, but... Wow, I missed that move. I actually, I got it better there, didn't I? 13, no, that's where it was. And I was pushing this button instead of that button, and it wouldn't let me, which I'm glad. Um, so that could, have been, that could have been a mistake. Wow. Wow. I'm going to reverse again up there. I'm shorting now. I'm at 113.27 shorting. I'm going to reverse again. I'm at 113.13 long. $785. I should, have, I should have waited. Just waited to flip that around just a little longer. Damn. So, yeah, this could be a little bit of channel trading here, but if it breaks through down there below that 112.94, we've got to be in the right position. We cannot be long when that happens. And did it a couple of times, particularly 112.87. We need to be ready to, uh, to flip it around right there. I'm looking for a spring up. I'm going to actually take that. I'm reversing. Wow, again, I went too soon. Went too soon. Could have made more there. So I'm shorting. Not liking the look of that. Looks like it's going to go up. Yep, I should have just reversed right there. Oh, I wanted it to go down just a little bit more. So it looks like the, the bulls are winning out here, guys. Might be retracing. I'm going to take a lesser loss right there. I, I don't like the look of that. Okay. I'm long now at 113.36. I took a, like an 85-buck hit. And we're going up, I hope. 
13, no, okay, 1336, long. Now I wish I still had my other position. Wow. Maybe maybe it's done and maybe it is going to go down. So this is a wide channel to try to trade and really there's some what we call the micro channels in here like right here this area would probably be something to watch. Um and then maybe even no, it's just not enough information to use that really. So if it blows me out down here, I'm going to get out, guys, for another loss. This is this is a hard one to call right here. It's starting to just go in and out here with that, and it's just too big for me to do the channels with. Um, right now, I'm long at 1336, as everybody can see. Everybody has the same share size, so I don't need to call that out. getting ready to reverse up here but I'm not going to do it too soon this time look at it go up so it's really retracing you might want to ride this for a bit broke a thousand yeah I, I almost feel like just selling and assessing to be honest with you rather than reversing because i'm not sure that i could jump back in long yeah i do reversing to save time but when it's it's got when it's got so much indecision it's not necessarily a smart move wow where is it going i'm gonna sell so that put me over a thousand I'm going to get ready to uh, short. See if it bounces back up. Somewhere in the 70s or 80s, 1375, 1380, or if it just starts flushing below 1350, I'll follow it down. Uh, otherwise, I'm going to take a prediction and not miss the move as it goes up higher here. And that's the logic there. You, you're not getting the best position, but at least you're in position. So, uh, and that's sort of the logic with reversing, too. I'm talking more to you, the viewer, than these guys because they know all this stuff. But again, hearing it, hearing it helps clarity. That's why they have quarterbacks uh, in the big hot rooms and... I am going to short up here in the 70 cents somewhere. I'd like to get mid 70s, not right here where it's uh, it's dojean. But I'm going to take it. If, I'm going to just take that. So I got it at 71. Would like to have get not gotten that a little bit higher. The chat. I've got the chat over here on the right. I've got their screens up here. I'm going to take that. I'm now reverse long again. Managed to carve out like 140 bucks there. I'm reversing again. Now I'm short at 1369. There's a lot of slip. I'm getting a lot of slippage when I reverse. That's why this is barely going up. Uh, besides that, I'm red right now, so... You guys are doing good up there. And to get ready to go long again down here, if it flushes even a little bit more, it seems like it's creating an upper channel. 
That's what I'm looking at. Even if these are just $20, $30 scalps, as long as it doesn't slip so much with the share size on the market. Wow, it's going down. It's going to go down more. You ask and the bid are messed up over here. I'm actually gonna I'm actually gonna flip around. I flipped around long at one thirteen fifty seven. Long at one fifty thirteen fifty seven. If it goes up past halfway up here again, really, you know. For me to be convinced to stay long, I'd like to see it break the VWAP. Otherwise, I think this is going to keep stair-stepping down, so I'll be ready to short. Right now, I don't want to be holding a position and hoping when it's long, like right now. This is not, I'm not feeling good about this position right now, <laughs> so... Uh... Everybody's over a thousand. Is that right? What? I can't look off the screen that far. You have to be more concise with your, with your chatting. Uh, yes. Okay. Everybody's over a thousand. Um, I need my eyes to go like crosswise or something so I can see uh, left and right. I do have six screens around me here on this station and I have another two with my laptop over on this station which most of you know which I do my swing trades with. I haven't I had a couple from uh, I have a couple riding now for a few weeks um, but I didn't set any new ones today yet anyway not yet. Okay so here we go we're coming back up So if it breaks this VWAP, I'm going to keep holding. Otherwise, I'm going to reverse. I'm going to give it a chance. Let's see. Yeah, it just can't do it. So I take 50 bucks here. Man, it just won't. It won't do it. Give me a, give us an actual move here. This is hard because there's too much slip it by slipping by buying and selling markets. So that's that is one of the problems with the rules we set up, and we did talk about it. That if it starts to get into a small, you know, 10 cent to 30 cent uh, movement and we're using market, we might, no matter how accurate we are, we might end up even, you know, like uh, just because it, it slips so much trying to fill the shares, especially when we're collectively trading all on thinkorswim. So we wondered if that was going to affect it a little bit more. Here we go. Go through the nine there. The 20. I mean, that's the 20. It went through the 9. It's hitting the 20. So the green is the 20. The red is the VWAP. This is the 9. And these are pivot points where this stock has turned around with either a wick or a body over the last 10 days multiple times. There we go. There we go. So now look for the $14 resistance. Just right. Oh, wow. It just went right through it. There's fourteen dollars, and it's all the way up to fourteen thirteen. Wow, that's amazing. So if it breaks through that, that could be it. Just it could be pulled back like a rubber band. So you got to watch it. Pulls back to that level like a rubber band, like it's a false breakout. This happens all the time with these pivots, these supports and resistance. It's one of the things we're talking about in the book right now to kind of walk through the individual trades like how do you do this and what should you be looking for and there's a there are different levels micro channels you know medium larger or, or small however you want to look at it and then the micro channels are more or less helping you decide on the turnaround more than trade within the channel wow so this is a nice big profit guys and i don't want to lose it if it starts dropping so i'm getting ready the 14 dollars holding it now 114 even See if it can break through that. It broke through the pivot one, you know, once. So let's see if it does it again. I actually will get out if it does it again. 
Yeah, this is just too indecisive here, and it's about to break the 14. Wow, it broke it. Is it really going to go down? So we got to be careful here. Be careful here. One more spring, maybe. Wow, we're losing it. Come on. Don't do it yet. Last gasp. The air must be thin up here. Here we go. Now, if it doesn't blow way out and snap that rubber band, we've got to get out. It's holding it. I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to reverse, guys. Did I make a mistake? I'll just get right back in it. It's still going. It's still going. Okay. Oh, boy. So it just took off. So now I have to assess. So it broke the rubber band. So now it's going to most likely keep. Well, it's got the fib. It's got the fib level here. So I'm holding a bad short position here right now. How many of you just hung on? Well, a whole bunch of you stayed long. Good job, guys. Good job. I know I pressed the button before I even called it. So I think as I pressed the button, it was it was it was going, it was making it a bad decision for me. Okay, so now it's pulled back again. So it's getting close down. It's at that line. Look at your level two. You can see it's got this big wide doji. Five minutes got a nice doji. It just uh, it's only into the second minute. You can see that there's five across in a grid for beginner traders. You wanna you wanna make sure your candlesticks are set five to a grid so you know when it's going to close and you can look over to see what color is the five minute because most likely it's going to go uh, short or long depending on this is if this is green or red but we still have three minutes to go so now my shorts working as I'm sitting here jabbering away um, it's it's down it's going down again okay Hopefully you guys were getting a lot of money to add up. Nobody's red. Everybody's well over a thousand. I don't. I have no idea what teams ahead. They're, they're, the numbers are all over the board here. Um, do you want to? Can you do a quick computation to see if there's a far out leader? So. Oh. Okay. They don't want us to, our mentors do not want to call out the leader. Okay, well, I mean, there's some logic there. Um, so everybody just traded the best of their ability. and You can't see where the other guy is on the racetrack. Yeah, one of the things that everybody here is gamers, obviously, because gaming's a big deal. And one of the books they pretty much convinced, convinced uh, us to do is... Uh, Especially by how successful this program has been, but it, but it basically a teenager trader book, you know, trading for teenagers. Um, I think it's a good idea because you can the the kids that game um, have a natural skill to get into this type of action. Why not use that on a sim? Why don't they develop games that are like this, that are a lot of fun, that release endorphins, just like say World of Warcraft, which is what we were talking about earlier. Um, and uh, guys, I'm going to hold this. So we have, uh, I mean, you're, you know, my advice would be just so you know, if I go off on a, uh, on a story that like we talked about today, and maybe they're interested in what we all talked about today, I'll share it with you, um, with our viewers is that I'm going to stick long because you've got basically between six and what do we have? How many, how far are we going over the 30 minutes? They have a way that they were computing that based on how they went in on the flush. So we're going all the way to um, to 10, to at least 10.05. So we're going 35 minutes. Um, yeah, I'm going to, as you can see, this trade is working. I'm looking for this to regain, <clears throat> you know, retrace back here, hopefully the whole way, but at least in this area. So I'm going to hold strong and try to break a couple of K. And if everybody breaks a couple of K, there's going to be a lot of money to spread around. So hopefully you guys are doing, I think some of you already broke a couple of K, right? Yeah. The guys that got in the flush originally are way ahead of me at 2,500, 2,600. Um, so that's fantastic. That's great. And they want to keep that money. <laughs> so, um, but anyway, yeah. So we were talking about World of Warcraft and it reminded me as a teacher, uh, and they were very interested in this, um, how I worked so hard to get Blizzard to do um, 
storylines that were real profession. I don't know if you probably don't know what that game is, most of you, but you know, you have an avatar and you go on quests and then you there's an auction house and you can buy gear, or you can kill, finish your quest and kill creatures and save damsels or whatever. There's all these books about it and everything else, and then get better gear and and even level up your tunes and you know avatars and, and do all that stuff. And you do that by not just fighting, but professions like blacksmithing and herbs and, uh, God, I can't think of some of the other uh, professions. But anyway, um, and I tried so hard to get Blizzard to at least have some offshoots, like an offshoot academy for the avatars to go in and study uh, medical, for medical, for lawyers, for accounting, for, for financial guidance for you know go learn the real wow we're doing good here um go learn real professions and have quests for them so you doesn't even kids don't even know they're actually learning something that's of use in society today i mean blacksmithing okay no offense i'm sure there's wonderful blacksmiths that are still doing that and we need them but i'm just saying generally it's not a huge profession it's a niche you know, so, so I know I'm going to get like a letter from the National Blacksmithers or something. Just like, um, but you know what I mean, like to stuff that can be used in every day. Like right now, it'd be great if they were saying, you know, give, having quests about AI, learning AI and all the new things. I mean, come on. Why aren't they doing that? Um, I think it'd be so popular. They would not listen to me, would not listen to me. And I was always looking as a math teacher, we're, we're holding on. You guys have the clock, right? So you know you still have um, almost eight minutes. Yeah, I might reverse here. Um, I'm looking at this move. I'm going to reverse right there. I'm going to see. It looks like that's going to go long for a second. So let me just see if I've made a mistake here. No, I could have called that wrong. Yeah, I'm not going to break 2,000 because I messed up here. Wow. That is not what I wanted to see. Come on. Wow, I wish I would that spike was real. That would have been great. It's so a sensitivity on the platform, really. It's getting some some uh, support down here at one thirteen twelve. And I think I, I really think I should have stayed in the short position. I was trying to scalp out a few more bucks. I'm going to take less of a loss and get out right there. Watch it shoot up here now because I did that. You know how we all feel that way. So anyway, I was always looking for stuff to teach. Now I'm going to stay long, guys, straight short, guys. Um, I lost about 100 bucks, I think, in that little departure. Um, and World of Warcraft was not that thing, but we were talking about it. It was just a pet peeve of mine that they didn't do that. But we were talking about the thing that I did. I was friends with... Uh, years with Richard Garfield, who was, I mean, probably most of you don't know, but he was, he's a math professor and he um, invented or designed uh, with his mechanic system, the game Magic the Gathering. And uh, I was very excited about using that early on with my uh, students uh, and their gift. They were in the gifted enrichment courses for gifted kids that were, you know, wicked smart kids. And still, um, it seems like all of us, you know, guys are more prone, it seems, although more studies are coming out about that. But I mean, I was about to say all have ADD. Um, and I, I had to deal with that a lot and keep their attention at middle school. These are middle school age. And um, I used Magic the Gathering to do that, where I created a curriculum around the mechanics that Richard uh, invented and he became you know, multi he sold to Hasbro, I think, for thirty million at some point the last time I've been a long time. I've thought about him, but he's gone off into the sunset. Um but yeah, that I then what happened was 
and I'm remembering a little bit of it starting a YouTube channel, um, what, what happens. Um, and luckily I had control of my math class and my curriculum. And if, if they didn't, because it was, it was a special program. Um, and if somebody didn't like it, they could just take their kid out of my class. How is, how's everybody doing? Anyway, my point is what happened is I got attacked because they said magic cards were devil worshiping and, uh, you know, you can't do this. And, you know, there was a huge religious contingent that thought I was, you know, brainwashing their kids to be, you know, I'm not particularly religious. I'm not anti-religious. I'm not, you know, either. And it had nothing to do with it is the point. It had nothing to do with it. It was engaging the students in something that was, it was exciting. They were, they had angels too. They had elves you know, they had all kinds of, you know, so they were just decided to pick the, the, the black, they have colors of cards and the black cards are like the, you know, gob, I mean, zombies, help me out guys, and so vampires, right, vampires. Um, so they had those things that you could, as a parent, go, ah, and I, and I remember again being so angry um, at the parents because they were banning the kids from playing, I was hearing they, they had been banned from playing, playing magic which was b before world of warcraft was around and then world of Warcraft, they banned them from playing it's like they're actually not going to play the games seriously parents seriously they just won't play them in front of you <laughs> so there's nothing for me to call here or i would be calling something except down <laughs> it's going down i have nothing to call i tried a little scalp in there and i failed so i'm assuming you are any of you scalping in those little scalps yeah, it's just really hard to read in here. Um, so this is a trend now. This is a downward trend, and you just play the downward trend to the bottom. So if the viewers are wondering why I'm not calling stuff, that's the reason why. I I think the safe move is to stay in here. So I'm going on with my stories, and thank goodness these guys, they uh, they like to listen to my dribble. One thing that's great about these guys, they've watched every single video. And I think that's a lot to do with their success. So everybody listening, remember, watch every single video. Um, and remember to subscribe and give us a thumbs up. Um, so I have a lot of really hardcore supporters, uh, and I really love them um, for this channel. Someday we'll stream. Someday we'll get it live streaming. This is We're not doing that right now, but we will. It's a lot involved there that we're not talking about with everybody in the club when we go streaming and the... Uh, even even the intellectual property of a platform that nobody seems to care about. And we are definitely targets. Um, we would become targets to, to try to sue, um, which happened when I put out the dark pool video. Uh, you being told you have a minute and a half, I assume. Yeah, that I put out the dark pool video and I mentioned a certain bank and um, not in the best of light. And then we got we got slammed by somebody that had trillions of dollars that they managed. So I was like, this is not a battle we intend to go into. So you have a minute and 20 seconds. You ever see that movie Silverado where John Cleese is chasing the outlaws into the mountains and they, they stop with a rifle and shoot his hat off and he stands up in his horse and he says, my jurisdiction ends here today. And then he turns around and I'm just thinking like, when we got that letter, I was like, that video's coming down. I am not on a crusade. <laughs> that video's coming down. I'm not going to battle a team of lawyers like for something that, you know, they their their point was they would have no they didn't they were not able to give another point of view and they were right. You know, I I, just, I was just me saying something sort of negative without them being able to defend it. Well, I didn't have anything to say about that. So we have 36 seconds. I'm staying in. I've broken 2000 I don't see any sign of turning around. Um, so I bet all of you are just wishing you could keep trading. Um, you're being told there. You're going to have a little buzzer there. I think maybe I'll just get out to stop the drama on my end. So I'm going to get out with $2,330 to give to you guys. Um, and uh, I thank everybody for watching today. We will tally up and announce on another video. Um, I guess we're waiting. There's gonna there's a process they're going. So there's one second, everybody's done. Okay. So it's a way long video. Uh, I try to keep them shorter. We are gonna say who won. I'm not gonna say who I'm rooting for, <laughs> but uh, really well done, guys. Everybody give themselves a hand and um, 
Everybody, thanks for watching. I think we'll have more about this particular competition and who was involved and stuff like that. But today, uh, I'm, I am moving on and we have too long of a video. So again, thanks for watching and be green out there. Be safe. We'll see you next time. Thanks a lot.